What's the good word, y'all? DKB here. So if you haven't been under a rock, you've heard the news by now. The New York Jets flew out to California to meet Aaron Rodgers. We got permission from the Packers in order to try to facilitate a trade. And so that's what the team has spent the day doing. By the way, Woody Johnson has kind of pulled like a, a Power Rangers Zordon move, right? He's assembled any important offensive coaching staff member uh, with the post on him to this private jet to Aaron Rodgers. So, I mean, we're talking Robert Sala, Woody Johnson, Joe Douglas, Nathaniel Hackett. I heard there could be a few other people that weren't confirmed, um, but outside of maybe Todd Downing, that would be the majority of the, the vital components on offense in terms of the coaching staff uh, heading down there. And I would say the first thing uh, about the meeting would be we probably need to convince him that he has a huge opportunity while he's most likely already a first ballot Hall of Flamer, excuse me, Hall of Famer to really secure um, his golden jacket in Canton uh, by getting a Super Bowl ring. It's eluded him with the Packers for various reasons. There's been uh, poor defenses, the lack of them investing um, high end resources in, in some of the weapons for him, um, different things of that nature. But uh, when it's all said and done, an 11 and 10 playoff record, uh, you have to feel like at least two or three of those years in recent memory, he could have had a strong opportunity, especially with some last minute penalties and, and craziness going on. And so he could honestly fit right in. We've talked about this being a plug and play offense, but we literally have no ceiling with Aaron Rodgers at the helm. And uh, once we can convince him that it's worth not retiring, the second piece would be his contractual obligations. And so I know he's owed something like $58 million, um, something like that. Most of that has been uh, um, uh, converted into a signing bonus. And so we're left with a cap hit of about $16 million, something like that. But still, overall, um, he's recognized it. The teams that want to trade for him recognize it. There is going to be uh, need to be a restructuring of the contract for him in order for it to make sense for any team that's looking to acquire him. There was also a, uh, a, a trade <laughs> a trade suggestion, I guess, by Ian from Jet Central um, that I caught over on Bleacher Report earlier that basically mentioned a fair trade would be a second round pick this year and a conditional second round pick next year that can move into a first, assuming that Aaron Rodgers plays in 2024. Uh, and I think fair is the honest, uh, you know, word that fits that that potential trade match. Um, I, <laughs> I, everything in my heart says try to find a way to make that a third that that you know bumps up to a second maybe. Um, but still, I, I think you're talking about a Hall of Famer. Um, you're getting a steal in a trade, honestly talking about a guy that put up some crazy stats with uh, a broken thumb I believe it was and I think he actually had a shoulder injury as well keep in mind he had to figure out a way to get this offense to operate in a way that he's been able to do at an elite level before with uh, not having a deep passing option for much of the season he was able to unlock uh, their their what was it second round rookie uh, Christian Watson I believe the name was um, at some point during the season we've seen him put up crazy numbers uh, in huge chunks and so you even think about what we currently have on the roster. We have a lot of supporters just in terms of the players in the building, former and past, even though there's been a lot of people that have brought up um, media concerns and personality conflicts. Nobody is questioning the talent. So you have guys like Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Sauce Gardner that will be excited to have an established quarterback on this team and to go out there and try to get a Super Bowl in their second seasons with the young talents that we have. And, uh, to be honest, I'd say I'm all for it. At this point, let's shoot for the stars. If we're going to get a Super Bowl, let's try to run it back to back uh, this year and next year, assuming Aaron Rodgers plays. And uh, by then, the biggest component, Zach Wilson, the commitment we made to him, we could still try to see that pay off. And it would be his honor to be mentored by Aaron Rodgers himself. So let me know what your guys' thoughts were. <laughs> immediate emergency private jet red eye to los angeles in order to try to get um i'm assuming the framework but a lot of the uh most difficult components of getting aaron Rodgers to the new york jets uh i'm excited for it let me know what you guys thoughts are. i'll catch you again peace